Jack it up. Hi, my name is Stella and I'm a violin teacher and on today's lesson I will teach you how to play F major scale one octave in the second position. So get your violin ready and let's get started. F major scale has only one flat and that is B flat. We are going to play on one octave only and F is played on the D string with the second finger. So this is the D. The second string counting from G. G, D, the second string. Then you have to play with the second finger, the F. It's F natural, so it's after the first finger. Right close to the first finger we have F natural. And then I know some people have those uh, white stripes on the violin and they usually put them on the F sharp, which is the part from the first finger. And that is F sharp and we don't want that note. We want F natural. That's where we start on the scale, okay? And then we have to shift. Instead of playing the F with the second finger, we have to start with the first finger. So we have to shift on the second position. And that is the starting point of the scale. Now I'm going to use for this scale, which is also on the book written, the rhythm pattern two, two, which are half notes and each half note gets two beats. So it sounds like this. One, two, one, two, one, and if you want, before you practice the scale, you can just play an open string and play the open note for two beats, like D. One, two, one, two. Okay? Or you can use the metronome, like I have my metronome. You can use yours if you have one. And we can put it for quarter note in uh, 40. I'm going to use 40 and I just need to change the beat because it's the tempo. It's 2-4 um, and I need the tempo to do the beat. I need it to go 4-4. Four, four. Here I go. I just fixed it. So it's 4-4 four, four beats and it's 40 BPM. Okay? So, I'm gonna play first without the metronome, so I show you the fingers and I can stop meanwhile I'm showing to you. So first we start with the F natural on the D string, second finger, then we replace that finger with the first finger, we shift. So I'm going to demonstrate for you now. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And here is the B flat, which is close to the third finger. The fourth finger is the B flat, the third finger is the A. Three, four is a rest at the end of the scale. So that is the whole scale. So we have half steps, which is from A to B flat, and then from E to F natural, it's another half step, which is the same on the A string. That we play C, D, E, and then F. So if you notice the E and the F, 
they're close with each other and the same on the D string, the A and the B flat is close to each other. So both they are the same close to each other, okay? So let's get started one more time playing the scale with the metronome this time. I put it slow, so for the beginners they need to practice slow first, so they can get the right sound. So this way you have time to fix the sound if you don't get it right, and then you can move the finger a little bit back, a little bit forward, depends uh, what sound you got, right? So we're gonna start on the first beat. So let's get four played, two, three, four, and then one. It's a rest at the end of the scale. Okay, so that's how you have to practice with the metronome. And you can repeat this 10 times, 20 times, as many times as you want, or as many times as you feel you are playing it right. And then you can just uh, practice like 15 minutes, take a break, then another 15 minutes, then take a break, then another 15 minutes. You don't have to practice the whole time because the muscles get tense and they need to relax. And that's the best way to play the instrument, the violin or any instrument. You need to have your muscles relaxed before you play because if they're tight, then even the sound on the violin is not going to be good. So you have to relax your muscles. If you have to shake yourself, shake your body, do a little movement, then you go back to practicing. And uh, that's how we practice usually. These are tips for practicing, which I should make another video about it. And um, yeah, that's all about the F major. So have fun practicing and uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching and liking and sharing. Jack it up.